Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. We have already got another update upon us, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this update changes everything. Uh, this update has single handed has has single handedly given us the players of No Man's Sky the one thing that they've wanted for so i think i think it's one thing i probably the number one thing everybody's wanted for the longest time and that is ship customization i it's finally here um if if you have if there's something bigger is there if there is a bigger request for no man's sky that people have had leave a comment down below let me oh my god hold on a second look at this space station oh my gosh it's amazing okay i love it like the orb is still there like they added stuff to the outside but i don't even care i love it throw more stuff on the outside it looks amazing uh, but yeah if there is a more requested update leave a comment down below i think ship customization is the number one thing that everybody's requested and it's finally here now there's some things about it and i want to check out things we're gonna look at things uh we're gonna see how this how this works with different types of ships um and then also with with some other stuff so yeah we're gonna hop into it hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things do appreciate the support also space stations have now been completely reworked obviously outside is new inside is new oh oh my gosh it just feels like a holding game like you know oh my gosh so like the one thing that's like it's 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 so so it's new right this is new it's a new layout but like one of the things that every time you start a new no man's sky game and you know this leave a comment if you can relate to this when you started a new no man's sky game and you got out of your ship the first thing you would always try to do is run and jump up up the stairs instead of running up the stairs because when you know when you're when you're fresh and new you can't make it up there so you always had to run up the stairs and it was terrible and like as you got upgrades like the the benchmark became okay can i finally make it up these stairs in the space station now off to the side you know and now we don't we don't really have that anymore it's kind of sad like it was it was like oh. you know what i hope I hope there's one space station. I hope they left one one type of space station like the OG. I feel like they should have one OG space station. Um, one because each space station supposedly is a little bit different, um, decorated a little bit different, uh, things like that. So, but I would I would like to see one OG one. You know, that would be pretty cool. Oh, that'd be cool. But I'm already missing the thing that's like gone. Okay, all right. So let's look at the space station here, and then we'll get into the ship building uh, in a second. So let's let's get back down here and let's regroup ourselves. Regroup. I'm just there's a lot going on here. Playing the game for so long, like you see updates like this, and you're just like legit, genuinely happy for them. So on the bottom floor, we don't even have to go upstairs for anything. Let's go ahead and check out what we got here. So we've got signs. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice. That is so player friendly. Like that is that is so much. So, if if you stopped here and you were like, oh, where do I go? It's like, okay, wait, hold on. There's multi tools. There's exo suit. Uh, there's some kind of like trade thing. I don't know what that is. Maybe guilds or something. Cartographer maybe. A vehicle, space. Like you could kind of tell what's going on. Oh, this is pretty cool. All right. So what do we have? There's the spaceship upgrades right there. Oh, we gotta check it out. Okay. Mission agent Data Rufus. So plus two gex standing okay so they chain they they did also add standings associated with each guild i believe okay so hold on that's not what we're looking for what do we have in here okay so there's the trade there's the teleported looks so good oh my gosh it looks so good and then we've got this must be the cartographer right okay um so let's see i don't need anything from you right now what i am looking for is Let's see, is it up here? Oh, and it tells you what the station's ran by too. I mean, like if you didn't know by looking at the people working here, like there's little Gek symbols on here. That's pretty cool. All right, and then, okay, so here's the guild. Oh, yeah, they definitely made this a point to make it like a, a more uh, a more upstanding thing. Okay, so let's, hey buddy, what do we got here? Let's see what we've got. Okay, status required, initiate apprentice, collect free supplies. Envoy Arosat of the Mercenaries Guild. Okay, Claret Mercenaries Guild rank is unknown. So we have to be exalted. Okay. Wait, is there a donate? Quad servo. Um crystallized heart. Oh, let's donate one of these. Standing increased. I like that you can you can just donate stuff. That's kind of cool. 
and then free for initiate and above free supplies oh you get 25 ham 2500 ammo for free wow i wonder if that resets or if that's just like a one-time deal that's pretty neat okay um and then what we got up here we got the stand we got standard stuff right we've got our our uh exo our like uh, vehicles we've got our um ship stuff we've got okay so hold on this would be upgrade oh multi-tool upgrade station add slots and improve class okay so there's that technologies and then here oh here's the exosuit upgrade spot and then what is this is this this almost looks like a nothing it's a nothing okay all right it's nothing don't worry about it <laughs> we don't ask questions all right let's see what we got up here uh nothing right now well maybe maybe stuff in the future all right let's go and let's see hold on let's go check out this balcony thing right here this is probably going to interact with, me with this right station core flight path and landing overseer Export systems uh-huh okay yep restore standing and input override code no we're gonna leave okay so we're not doing any of that all right let's get down here uh let's see so appearance modifier oh this looks new and exciting i love that it shows the hologram of yourself and then this must be the ship salvager and then this must be the ship customization ship star ship fab construct new starship <gasps> what okay so fuselage all right so i have none turbine fuselage exosuit starship freighter all inventories okay so fuselage items in here reactor cores that's okay so what kind of reactor core do we want to put on it um we can choose the wing types oh my gosh oh my gosh these look amazing okay so and then thrusters okay so this answers my question right here. oh hold on a second fighter we've got hauler explorer fighter hauler explorer okay so that answers one of my questions as well all right so cockpit on the oh my gosh guess what there's something new to unlock now we need to go through and unlock all of the different types uh you know what here actually we can figure this we can figure this out right now um let's buy a ship we'll salvage it <laughs> because i believe how these are unlocked is actually by salvaging other ships so i want to figure this out and then we also have yeah fighter hauler explore okay so that answers one of my questions one of my questions was if you purchased if you have a ship like so we have our ship right here right were we going to modify our ship that we currently have or were we gonna we gonna start from scratch obviously we're gonna start from scratch so let's go ahead let's pop in here i just want to see if this is how we unlock stuff here so um let's see offer to trade make make a uh, offer on the life forms starship negotiate price okay so i should be able to buy and add to collection for 10 8. all right so we're gonna buy that so this ship is ours now now let's go back over here because i just want to salvage it right i think salvaging it is how we unlock the new pieces <laughs> i believe but we gotta make sure we salvage the right one here um, okay so this is drones deployed target ship okay where to find upgrades upgrade begin salvage analysis cannot break into parts extract high value scrap metals or harvest reusable customization module cannot break into parts okay so hold on if i claim scrap we're 7.5 okay all right so we did that now does that actually give us anything or did we not get anything from that i don't think we actually got anything from that so that would that would have been an explorer type right i don't think we got anything from that you know what it might not have been an explorer it might have been a hauler it was a hauler no because we had th this cockpit was on there interesting so we must have to do something else in order to get those parts and pieces to okay that's my ship maybe it was not a good high enough quality all right, we're gonna, look, we're, gonna look, we're gonna look at this one. Uh, offer on the life form ship. Okay, so this is an A class. Okay, A class. It's an A class, so it's gotta be good. Exchange current ship. Uh, no, we're gonna add, buy and add to the collection. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. Just like that, make sure we're good. Okay. 
and then maybe this isn't the way we do this uh like i said i haven't i haven't read in anything i'm just i'm just trying shooting by the hip here okay so if i go into here and i say i want to begin salvage analysis cannot break into parts ship is not eligible for part stripping very interesting because i mean even those are some of the most basic pieces you know what i'm saying i wonder what it is that we need to do in order to make that happen okay also another thing i want to uh, i just want to talk about real quick uh now that we have this a class with all this stuff authenticated starship i do believe that's that means that the starship was found in its current configuration so if you make your own ship you're not gonna have the um the tag that says authenticated starship i don't believe i, I believe that's how that's gonna work so interesting how are we going to do this why i wonder was that not eligible for any parts uh to be what is this guy's ship is that the starter that's another starter ship that's so funny because this one's mine this is my starter ship there's another one oh it's all it looks almost the same okay all right all right so i'm gonna do some testing i will bring you back once i figure this answer out okay i think i may have figured i may have figured out our issue here so the two ships that i have currently bought uh hold on let me let me verify here uh i believe this is a shuttle there's no shuttles in here so i don't think i'm gonna get anything from these so what i need to do is i need to buy one of the three categories that we can so i'm gonna go ahead and begin salvage we're gonna break this bad boy down claim scrap and claim scrap okay so there's that but what i need to do is i actually need to go ahead and get a hold of a ship that is one of the other classes so i either need a fighter a hauler or a scientific ship it has to be one of those three and not a shuttle so this guy right here that's a hauler which is actually awesome because i love those um i love those wings like the that type of wing like that's that's actually what i really want off of this thing <laughs> and that's a shuttle right there so that's what i got wrong here okay all right friend hello now there is a cheaper way to go about this so um, i'm gonna just do it with this one first make sure that that was that i'm correct in my misunderstanding here negotiate price oh my god it's an a class it's 102 million i don't have enough for that how do i not have 102 million wow um hold on let me see if i can sell, see if i can sell some stuff oh my gosh uh offer to trade i need i need to uh i can't even believe that i'm broke <laughs> compressed indium scraps that's uh that's 12 million okay all right so that will give me enough to buy oh my gosh you know what it's worth it okay we're, we're it's worth it for it's we gotta do it for the content all right negotiate price 102.5 million jeez louise oh my goodness that's a lot of units okay we bought it all right it's ours we bought it i did a thing and you know what all i'm gonna do is salvage it oh god <laughs> but that's okay there's a reason for that so let's see let's pop into here now um begin salvage analysis extract customization module there it is okay and i want the wings yes i want the wings okay scrap process confirmed selected module will be added to customization exosuit automatically I visit the fabricator to assemble new sh okay components awarded starship destroyed for scrap components awarded oh so we didn't get any we didn't get any money out of that however what we did get i believe is if we go to hauler and we go to wings we do now have the um the the vtol wings which i really really like those ones um oh my gosh there's multiple different types too there's like mid-engine ones there's oh my gosh all right so as you can see that was that was expensive <laughs> that was expensive that was very pricey <laughs> so let's do this a little cheaper shall we what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find distress signals we're gonna find broken ships on the planet and the reason we're gonna do that is because there's another fancy new update we can actually go into here to summon vehicles we can change our docked ship uh we'll go ahead and change it with this guy and basically boop there it is that's all I have to do. Now, what's great about this is I'm gonna take this bad boy out. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop out here. We're gonna go find a, um, we're gonna go find ourselves a crashed ship for free. That's gonna be the goal here. And then, um, 
Let's see here. Actually, you know what I need is I need a... Where's my dread? Oh, shoot. Well, okay, we're going back in. You know what? It's actually good we got back into the station because I want to actually... We're going we're gonna to go pick up a map. Uh, we're going to look for distress beacons. Now, the map might not be the best way to do this, but we could also use the, um, uh, the Minotaur and go that route. But we're going to just see if we can't get ourselves a distress specific chart. Can we get a exosuit upgrade artifact planetary planetary emergency i'm pretty distress signals yes that's what i need okay how many of these can i how many of these can i get all right let's go ahead and grab those and then let's pop over uh out we'll use it we'll see where it's at we'll land there and we'll hope that it's one of the three types of ships that we can actually salvage and this should give us the ability to get it for free uh freighter Crash site located. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's go to a different system. Oh, wow. We're in a fight. Oh, I don't really want to be in a fight. All right. We have a, we, we have a quick pit stop here. I had to rescue this uh, freighter from being attacked, but that's okay. Cause actually, you know, surprisingly, we're a little, uh, we're a little strapped for cash. So I could use the money. Good, sir. All right. We got cargo bulkhead standing increased and some nanites Any the units. We didn't get units, did we? No, we didn't. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so we got a distress signal located. There we go. That is what we are looking for. All right, now we're hoping it's one of those types, as long as it's not a shuttle. It's like literally a 75% chance to not be a shuttle. And what is it going to be? It is going to be... A, oh, it's an explorer. Okay, cool, 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 cool. This works. So I think all I actually have to do is get in it now. Let's see here. Because of how they, because of what they changed, I think scrapping these is now easier than ever. I don't even think we have to do anything. I think I can literally hop in here and compare, claim. I'm adding it to our current thing. Okay, there it is. It is claimed. New planetary record, smallest planet. That's funny. So that guy is good to go. We're going to definitely keep the wings off of this thing, I think. Hold on. Let's look at the engines. Yeah, we're going to keep the wings off of it. It looks cool. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually head back to the space station and we're going to salvage that. All right. So we're on the station. Uh, literally, I did nothing to that other ship except for, you know, hop in it, claim it, and then bring it here. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and swap it out with my current one, which was this guy. Oh, it's critically damaged. Interesting. So we're not going to be able to just swap it out real quick. All right. So this is my next question. Can we swap it out on the freighter? Okay. So on my freighter, it is here. It is here, which is great because I mean, we have access to all my freighter stuff now. So I should be able to go in here and let's see, what do we have to repair? Like, do we have, we probably have to repair that. We probably have to repair the landing gear. Um, and we probably have to repair the shields all right i think that's it i think that's all we have to do yep we're good okay so now we can take it in all right so instead of having to fix it on the ground there you can indeed just call it right to your freighter which is uh which is uh, this is actually kind of a cool looking little explorer ship this is an explorer right it's not a shuttle i hope it's explorer oh i really hope it's an explorer <laughs> If I, I should have scanned it with my, oh, hello. I should have scanned it with my uh, my, my trusty scanner, but um, I, think, I think we're good. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and snag the wings off of this one as well. I actually really like the engines on this too. The engines give it a really shuttlecraft kind of vibe though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, so let's pop into here. Uh, begin salvage analysis. Extract customization modules. So we could do the whole left wing or right wing. What? Oh, what was different about it? Oh, one of them has like a little pod thing on the bottom. One of them just has a straight. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. We got it. We actually got to go look at it now. I thought they were the same. Are they not the same? These look exactly the same to me. Am I missing something? What is different? Those look exactly the same to me. You know what? Maybe they are the same in this case because in other uh, in other craft, they're not the same. 
because sometimes each wing can be different so that's probably why that's probably why there's an option so <laughs> i was like what is happening oh no all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with the right wing i guess why not and there it is confirmed we've done it okay so now we have that wing ready to go so if we want to come in here we should be able to go into uh explorer and then we should be able to go into oh my gosh there's actually oh okay so you can't have the same wing on both sides so left wing wait a second hold on a second what you have to have multiples of them oh my gosh i was under the impression that you just unlocked it i was under the impression that once you ha once you salvaged it it unlocked a blueprint and you could do it as many times as you want it is actually a physical thing and do i have f something physically on me that indicates what oh my gosh i do longshore fan wing right there it is it is literally a item that is in your inventory okay all right i was thinking it was a blueprint type of thing where you would just you know craft it up it requires some you know, items nope okay <laughs> wow i'm impressed a little bit there that is that is surprising okay i've collected my thoughts and I, i'm ready to give my opinion <laughs> I, I think this is a fantastic addition to the game. I think it's really cool. I think it's really neat. However, this is not ship customization in the way that anybody was expecting it. Um, I think people were expecting it to ex customize your own ship, be able to change the colors of a ship that you found. Say you find an exotic S class or something that you really like, and you just don't like the color scheme on it. We were really just hoping to be able to change it. Um, ultimately that is what i think people were looking for maybe they were looking for uh they found a ship that they really liked but it didn't have symmetrical wings they wanted to swap out the wings you know what have you that is not what we have here what we have here is a completely different type of system that allows you to build any customizable any hauler explorer or fighter that you like giving given the pieces that you have access to so there are definitely some really cool really cool pieces and i'm actually really interested to see like what you know what some combinations would look like um i am very surprised though about the fact that these are not blueprints that these are actually in fact pieces that you have in your inventory and you have to have them so if you want two of the same wings you have to go salvage two of the same winged ships if that makes sense so um a little bit interesting now with that with all of that said being that these are only the hauler the explorer the fighter we do not get solar sail ships right now we do not get any living ship components we do not get any sentinel ship components um those were the ones that i was a little bit what that's what i was actually curious about because living ships obviously the living ships so how do you customize those parts sentinel ships i could see that being very easily you know easily addressable with with basically what the system they have here um solar sail ships as well maybe not the um the specialty ships you know like the um the the starborn runner or whatever that we have now um i could see that not being necessarily an option but what that what that makes me wonder is how many people are actually going to spend the time to do this because there is definitely a time sink here with these different items and these ships these basic hauler explorer fighter ships are not the go-to end game ships for anybody typically an end game ship is going to be a sentinel ship or a living ship or it's going to be some exotic s-class ship you know like we don't even have like exotic options here i was really hoping that would be really cool to see exotic options you know make your own exotic ship that i could definitely see people playing with um but in this case i mean i feel like you were we're stuck with hey you can modify and build a basic ship but you can't really do anything crazy i like the fact that you can pick the colors that's awesome that's really cool um but the the time to make it to get the parts the money to get the parts if you don't go get them for free if you don't just go salvage them yourself and just you know rely on luck um i don't know that this is actually gonna be a, a thing that gets used super super often i just don't know leave a comment let me know what you think I, i'm curious uh it's not exactly game changing like i thought it was when i when i first heard ship customizations i, I literally got goosebumps because i was like oh my gosh I want to change the color of ships. I want to be able to do that stuff, you know, and that's that's not really what this is. I do like that. I do like what we got here. I'm not complaining about it at all. I think the new uh, the new stations look amazing. 
but I don't think this is the game changer that everybody was really hoping for. So, um, I don't know. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. And I'm just going to sit on this one and think about it because I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like, that's a beautiful solar sail ship right there. That's absolutely gorgeous, but we can't do anything with it. And this is, you know what? And actually a solar sail ship, it would be, would be fun to work on too, because, um, like this ship right here specifically, I don't like this nose. I like the wings. I like the colors. I don't like the nose though. I don't like the fuselage. So, um, that would be fun to, to swap out on this guy, you know, like get the wings off of it. Uh, maybe swap out the fuselage or whatever, but we don't have those yet. Not saying we won't ever get them, but we don't have them yet. So. But yeah, go ahead, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but that's gonna end this episode, this first look. This is honestly what I was looking for. This is this is this is the update that I thought. Oh, I really thought it was gonna be a big one. Um, and it's a good update. It is a good update. It's just not quite there. You know what I'm saying? So you leave your comments. I'm curious. I'm open to critiques and criticism. If you think it's amazing, if you think it sucks, whatever, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm curious. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.